Here's an interesting idea, which I don't know if I should do. Yesterday in the stream, I said everything amounts to Blender eventually. If there's anything I'm working on, any idea in my head, it's somehow like a remix of something I looked at or experienced in Blender. So here, if you have a keyframe and you go to the graph editor, there's these things called modifiers. For example, you could set a noise, which is kind of like a wiggle. The noise is in the Y, um, on the Y dimension and you can copy it and paste it to the, to the X dimension. So I wonder if something I should do maybe is have like a tiny copy button here. Hmm. Maybe on the tab, if you right click, it's going to say copy, <laughs> copy physics. And then you could go to the second tab and paste it. And that way, if you just like I needed to do now, if one wing is flapping and you set it to the right amount of boinginess and freedom, instead of going to the other ones and trying to match it, you'd be able to copy paste it. What does this mechanism look like in terms of code? I have this thing called noodle data, which is essentially what you see, see in the expression, this thing. It's essentially just an object with a bunch of like, oh, the boinginess should be one or the freedom should be 0.5. So in theory, I can just copy the physics part from one to the other. Yeah, let's do it. Add item, let's call it copy. Copy physics. And there should be a paste physics. Now here's another problem. If no physics is copied, should the paste physics tab appear? Or should it appear and be disabled? Because if it should appear and be disabled, I need to have an option to disable the tabs in, in the context menu. I don't even think I need this. I kind of just like, like the idea of having a context menu. So I added stuff. Also in terms of the user experience, if someone right clicks a tab by accident or just to try out stuff and they see the copy physics enabled and the paste physics disabled, it kind of hints in some way that like copying will enable the other one. And it may, it, it's like, it kind of gives you a, a path forward to do it with other tabs. So each menu item, should have a way to to tell if it's enabled or not. This dot um, enabled. And we need an enable function, a disable function, and a set disabled or set enabled. Set disabled. And both like both enable and disable will essentially be a proxy of set disabled. So it's like this dot set disabled false. And this dot set in set disabled true and inside here we're gonna say um this dot enabled this dot enabled is disabled and the class name exactly we should make it obvious for the user that it's disabled in terms of the way it looks in css menu item dot disabled and it's essentially the same thing there you go cursor um default and also pointer events should be none. There you go. It's disabled and you can't click it. I don't. Okay. One way to do it would be to actually copy to clipboard, which is fine, but it's unnecessary because A, it hijacks the, the clipboard from the user. So you might like copy something and then go to like your Google Docs and paste by accident and you'll end up with like, like a JSON object. I mean, I don't really need a clipboard. It could just be stored on memory this dot physics copy slot or something and I should be able to say um this dot populate physics copy slot yay i need to get like the first selected tab if no first tab return the noodle property is the first tab that noodle property i'm pretty sure yeah tab yeah cool so let's say if no noodle property return and then i'm just, i'm not even typing i'm just pressing tab i'm just letting it write the code for me i want to get let's get the physics object and it should be a noodle property dot noodle data dot physics and then we should be able to say noodlebot or like this 
Is it a string? No, it's an object. That's fine, it should be an object. By the way, I broke a plate in the microwave like 10 minutes ago. Or not 10 minutes ago, when I was on a break. And now GitHub saved me. Object apply. Maybe. I don't know. Right click, copy. Undefined. Lovely. So maybe the problem is with this? So it all exists. Then why digital physics copy slot object apply? So I guess the problem is with object apply. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. Another way would be to JSON stringify and then JSON objectify or well, what's it called? Parse. And then you get only the object itself. But I wonder, because I know I know there's the object object apply. What it should do is the function substituting the specified object for the value of the function and the specific uh, specified array of the arguments of the function no that's a fun mm. oh wait a second right so what does assign do object assign target source oh wait a second let's see right click copy there you go that's a physics object um hmm Okay, so now let's do this. Paste physics slot to selected tabs. But I think this one should be async, synchronous. Because copying is fine, it's already in memory, but when you paste, you're actually applying the expression, which means there's extend script involved, which means I hate it, but it has to be synchronous. I'm confused. I'm confused. For each selected tab. The noodle property is the tab.noodle property. And if there is no one, then return. But if there is one, so you take the physics from the copy slot and like mesh it all together with the other one. After you paste though, it should also um, apply the expression. Noodle but dot um, apply expression to selected apply to selected let's try that so let's say i'm working on puppet pin 5 which is the right wing and i'm like hmm this is a nice setting i should be able to say copy physics then go go to the other one say paste i don't think it works oh my god um, pasting this object, which is what I want, before it's pasting. Oh, what is this? What are you? Right, I'm not accessing the noodle data. I'm only accessing the... Yeah. I always do this. Bar noodle data. There you go. If no noodle data, and then noodle data dot physics. Same here. And I think this should work. I'm changing the left one, sorry, the right one. And I'm like, hmm, nice, uh, nice one. I'm gonna put it to the other one. So you copy the physics and you paste the physics. Like it's, it's nothing complex, but I think it's cool. Wait, can I do it for multiple ones now? Let's see. So this is the tail. You copy the physics from the tail and you paste it. To the wings. <laughs> I mean, if this is what if this is your desired result, then sure. I mean, the, there are some birds that kind of do this, right? It's like they're kind of like gliding in place. Maybe not this badly, but this is the thing because now they're all sharing the same uh, physics data. I can just be like um, select all of them and then go like, oh, I'm just gonna lower the opacity for, for all of them at the same time. Come on, After Effects, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. There you go. It's pretty good. I'm having a good time working on it on stream, though. It's pretty fun. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I'm making some progress. Bye!